one of the stories that I really, really hate to bring, um, but I have to because it's too crazy. And really, I my appreciation um, and this content has really been uh, supplied by uh, Pink Book Lessons. I don't know if y'all support that channel, but if you don't, you should go over and support her because um, <laughs> not only is it a great uh, is it great content in my opinion, um, she has a way of. Just bringing it with a certain amount of swag that is just hilarious. So, although it could be bad news, you find yourself laughing. Like, this can't be real. Okay? And so, in this instance, uh, Pink Book Lessons brings across um, a story about the Sonia McKnight of Pennsylvania. She's a judge. I like to call her city girl judge because y'all already know we got the city girl mayor in Tiffany Henyard who is totally off the chain. And I'll be bringing another story about her. Uh, but the fact of the matter is I, she was so much that I had to let it go. And everybody else was doing it too. So I was just glad that she was getting the output that she deserved because that this is another one. And I'm just literally disturbed by the fact that these African-American, black, coloreds, whatever you calling yourself these days, Negroes, um, and how corrupt. When we used to be the moral compass of the world, I mean, we gave religion and spirituality and brought all those concepts. The first family that was drawn, the holy family by Michelangelo was that stuff that they keep hidden from y'all because the, that family was black. The holy creator, I mean the uh, Christ. Okay, we talking about black. I know y'all want to hear that and I ain't talking that stuff I learned. I'm telling you what I know. That stuff they got hidden in the Vatican, you know, those pictures of the Black Madonna and how the Pope kisses her every day, uh, worships the Black Madonna. But you would never see it. Okay? But now we have a rash of black officials who are city girls. And it's gotten completely out of freaking hand. And so let's just do this story thanks to pink book lessons and i want y'all to support that channel because i am using her content right now and tell me what y'all think about this craziness lord have mercy listen i feel great i feel great god is good yes he's good so i'm thankful and i'm grateful yes god will end up in in the yeah, he will intervene, but he will also vindicate you of all righteousness. When you keep the faith and trust him, he said no good thing will I withhold from you. So I'm grateful to God on this day for believing in me and knowing that I did nothing wrong. And I thank God for my attorney that he sent my way all the way from Philadelphia. I thank God for you. I thank God for you believing in me. Yes, and my attorney says, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> That's Judge Sonia McKnight back in 2021, leaving out of the courtroom, being cleared on all charges and allowed to keep her position. That wasn't her first time being under fire. A couple of years before that, she got away with shooting her ex-husband. Oh. Fast forward to 2024, after multiple suspensions over the years, she's now been arrested and charged once again, this time in a situation involving her new boyfriend. <laughs> Edisonville, Pennsylvania magistrate judge is now facing attempted murder and aggravated assault charges. Police say she tried killing her ex-boyfriend, but tried to put the blame for the shooting on the victim. 57-year-old Sonia McKnight is now accused of shooting Michael McCoy in the head while he slept last weekend. Oh Police said she God. tried to convince McCoy that he had pulled the trigger on himself. <laughs> 
take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. If you're watching from the Harrisburg area oh or anywhere... Oh my God, did y'all hear that? Let me know. Okay. Officials, it's like they're in competition with each other. No different from the City Girl rappers. Every day they're trying to one-up each other. Today we have Judge Sonya McKnight, a 57-year-old OG City Girl judge of Harrisburg. <laughs> When it was the right time for my wife and I to launch our small business, we chose legal to, to create our own. These damn asses be getting on my nerve. <laughs> Call her history of dealing with inmates on a romantic level in her past, but now she may be trading her judicial role for a prison jumpsuit. Ugh. Yes, the city girl judge may be on her way to being an inmate herself. Elected in 2015, her name has been in a lot of controversy ever since, including pow pow her ex-husband within her first three years in office. They let her off on that. And after being cleared, she ended up in court once again. All over ethics charges stemming from accusations that she interfered with a case that involved her son. Oh, I feel great. I feel great. God is good. Yes, he's good. So I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Yes. God will in the, in, in the, yeah, he will intervene, but he will also vindicate you of all righteousness. When you keep the faith and trust him, he said no good thing will I withhold from you. So I'm grateful to God on this day for believing in me and knowing that I did nothing wrong. And I thank God for my attorney. That he now, those, those are the red flags, okay? First of all, it, you know, and I don't mean this in no disrespectful way. I really don't. But, you know, we're such low-hanging fruit. All somebody got to say is talking about, I mean, the woman said he will vindicate you from all righteousness. What? What? He will vindicate you from all righteousness. Girl, it's already starting off crazy. And then whenever you start interjecting those scriptures or running into the church and you have been accused of something, I... And I know this is terrible because it could be me. Because I, I do, um, that's why two things could be true at the same time. I do use scripture. I go down and listen to my uh, mother right now. And the first thing she'll do is she'll g give me a scripture. I grew up like that. Okay. And my mother has dementia. But she'll give me a scripture. If it's. If that's the only thing that she's that's constant, okay? So I get it. And as black folk, we have been so programmed that some of our biggest crooks <laughs> are our best preachers, are our public officials. This, uh, and what it comes down to is complete narcissists. Complete narcissism. This woman done shot. She pop. Oops. She pow powed her first husband. Lord, don't let me laugh because this is nothing funny. And then she turned right around. And she pow powed her, her boyfriend and tried to convince him that he shot himself. What the fuck is going on? What is happening? Is it me? Or have I done too much drugs? That's the only thing I can say. What is going on? This is a mental house for real. Listen.
Except for you, Judge. I'm ready to take my seat back. I need to get back in the bed. I love my community. I want my seat. And the community has voted me back in. I've been to school to re-election. And I thank God for my community believing in me and said, you know what? She deserves the seat. So I'm grateful. Yeah, you heard it. After she pow on her ex-husband and after the ethics violation, the community still re-elected her. Oh, but more trouble was on the way. She got caught up once again. And a magisterial district judge in Dauphin County will be suspended one more time after a run-in with Harrisburg police three years ago. Did y'all? Y'all? <laughs> okay, y'all. Did you hear it? Wait, I ain't done now. I ain't done. Wait. Was acquitted of criminal charges after being accused of interfering with the arrest of her son in 2020. She spent more than six months suspended without pay in 2021 while that criminal case played out, then returned to the bench after her acquittal. But last year, the PA Court of Judicial Discipline ruled that McKnight had misused her power as a judge. And today it outlined McKnight's punishment, a 200-day unpaid suspension of which she's already served 190 days. McKnight will begin serving the remaining 10 days of the suspension on February 9th, then spend one year on probation and must not commit any further ethical violations. So she went on to serve those last 10 days of the 200 day suspension a year ago in 2023 and she returned back to work. By now you would think she learned her lesson. But before the end of the year, the city girl judge was in trouble again. Dauphin County judge has been suspended from her post without pay for the second time in three years. Fox 43's Ryan Mee joins us now to break down the allegations against district judge Sonia McKnight and what comes next. Yeah, District Judge Sonia McKnight's suspension has been in place since November 14th for ethical violations charged against her back in September. Now, McKnight was suspended for the first time back in 2021 after allegedly interfering with a traffic stop that involved her son but was acquitted of all charges. Now, seven allegations of misconduct have been filed against her that has her sidelined once again. The court documents describe seven different allegations involving theft of time, conflict of interest, abusing her office prestige, and unexplained absences. Judge McKnight allegedly faced a conflict of interest on two different occasions when she presided over cases where her impartiality could be questioned. Judge McKnight did not recuse herself from a case where her personal attorney represented a defendant in a DUI-related case she presided over. She also presided over a case involving a Harrisburg City police officer that she filed a citizen's complaint against, alleging he, along with three other officers involved in her 2021 criminal investigation, conspired to destroy her credibility in the community. The Judicial Office says McKnight abused the prestige of the Judicial Office when she reached out to a Dauphin County contact asking to obtain a copy of the police report related to that criminal case. They say she also abused this prestige when she used her social media accounts that identified herself as a magistrate judge to sell a product named Exit Red. On March 23rd, 2022, Judge McKnight's clerk received a civil complaint claiming McKnight owed an individual nearly $2,100. McKnight allegedly advised her clerk to act like the complaint was never received, a misdemeanor offense of obstructing administration of the law. Lastly, Judge McKnight allegedly failed to appear for her assigned judicial duties and could not be reached between January 14th and 16th of this year. The seven allegations have resulted in 20 counts under nine different charges. District Judge Sonny McKnight will remain suspended until the Court of Judicial Discipline comes to a decision. If any of the charges are confirmed, possible sanctions against McKnight include suspension, fine, or removal from office. I tried reaching out to Judge McKnight's office by phone. <laughs> you think? Wait a minute. You think? And this is who we elected? This is who we elected. So, see, when you let people get away, my mom used to always say, you give, a, give your inch, you take a mile. Okay? I hear, so y'all, y'all, give your inch, you take a mile. This is exactly what it is. She's been allowed to be so corrupt for so long. When she pow powed her first husband, that is horrible. 
for a judge. How y'all didn't think, like, what? I don't want to elect that person back again. No, they crossed the line. Unless it was in self-defense, he was stomping her or doing something, and at that moment she couldn't do anything but shoot the person? This was none of that kind of stuff. Listen, but, but she was acquitted. And why, y'all? Well, y'all heard the story. Let me, let me, let me finish. Let, me, come on, Pink Book. Let me let you do it. Let me answer this. What would be the normal behavior of a person under investigation? You already know you're being watched. Not to mention you've gotten away with a lot of stuff already. You would think the OG City girl would chill out. Well, if she did that, she wouldn't be a city girl. You know, they're supposed to keep fighting when really they should look in the mirror because that's who they're really fighting. They're their own worst enemy. She was placed on suspension once again at the end of 2023. So she started the year off on one suspension and she ended the year off with another suspension. Now, while on suspension for the umpteenth time, going into 2024, <laughs> she's got a new man, wrapped things up with the husband a while ago, and she ended up doing the same thing to her new boyfriend that she did to her ex-husband, unexpectedly fired on him. Suspended Harrisburg District Judge Sonia McKnight arrested today. This <laughs> is Bella. She is accused of shooting a man in the that last Saturday morning inside a home in Dauphin County. <gasps> Fox 43's Robert Stover joins us now to break down the charges that Knight is facing and the timeline of events. Robert. Well, suspended Harrisburg District Judge Sonia McKnight was arrested this afternoon and charged with attempted murder. McKnight <laughs> was also charged with aggravated assault. Tonight, Cumberland County District Attorney Sean McCormick says it's connected to a shooting last Saturday in Susquehanna Township. Sonia McKnight was seen leaving the Susquehanna Township Police Department in handcuffs and leg shackles Thursday afternoon in before being transported to Dauphin County Prison. Authorities confirmed the shooting happened early Saturday morning on the 200 block of Saddle Ridge Drive in Susquehanna Township. While the victim was shot, he is expected to be okay, though he is now blind in one eye. McKnight and the victim were confirmed to be the only people in the home at the time of the shooting. The Cumberland County District Attorney's Office confirmed they are leading the investigation after the Dauphin County District Attorney and the State Attorney General's Office both recused themselves due to a conflict of interest. McKnight's bail is currently set at $300,000. In November 2023, McKnight was suspended without pay amid an investigation into misconduct allegations from the Pennsylvania Judicial Court Board. Now, according to Big Knight's court document, she is not posted bail and is currently at the Dolphin County Prison. And that so she's still in jail. What is what's going on, y'all? What's going on? Thank you, Pink Book. Thank you. And again, y'all should go check out her channel. She does good, funny stories. Um, softens the blow, and it lets you know just how much of a mental house we are living in. But back to this crazy broad. How in the hell do you explain this city girl judge? Remember, she was a sitting judge, y'all. And they voted her in after all these shenanigans, just like Tiffany Henyard. What is wrong? I ain't... Okay. I don't got nothing to do with the dominant. Okay? We need to be checking ourselves because we are dysfunctional. And we love dysfunction. And I think people mad at Floyd Mayweather because they said, he said something to the effect of, uh, we like the illegal instead of the legal. We like Oh, I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real and glorify the project and look down on the family who lived in a house with two parents. You know, we, uh, uh, um, and to say not to judge them, but you judging us. Um, To glorify what's really low-hanging stuff. 
as opposed to trying to step up your game to do something a little better. This is what we're victims of. And we're victims of gossip constantly, constantly. Do you know how draining that is? Do you know how draining that is? And especially when you program your little child's mind for all this dysfunction. Now we got the damn city judge, Sonia McKnight. That's this crazy. And we got Tiffany Henyard over here in Dalton. All right, I want to know what y'all think because y'all already know what I think. Again, thanks, Pink Book. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and share the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.